Dave, when you look back on this series, and, and you're eventually going to look back on it for probably quite a while, what, what do you think the biggest difference maker was in, in how it turned out? Well, I don't know if there's one difference maker. I don't know. You know, you look through the series, it's, it was a really even series. Um, probably look at the first six games, um, the better the better team that, you know, that, that you know, played uh, played a little bit better that night, probably won each game, right? Tonight uh, was one where, I mean, both teams played really hard. Um, our goaltender was the best player on the ice. Um, we had a couple guys that stepped up and, you know, made game-changing type plays. Uh, and we had, you know, much like the entire season, uh, we just had everybody doing their part. I mean, the, the battle level and the... Um, you know how hard our group worked tonight uh, was really indicative of the kind of season that uh, that we've had. So, you know, um, there's not really one difference maker in this series. I mean, it's a, it's a collective group effort by our guys, and on a on a night where the series is decided, we you know we had a couple guys that you know stood out, and the rest of the group did their job. Dave, so many people had written this team off before the series had even started. How satisfying is this? series win for you and to also make franchise history in the process winning your first ever playoff um, series? You know, I'm mostly, I'm just really happy for the guys. I'm, I'm proud of, you know, their effort and, um, you know, they, they deserve this. And, um, you know, in terms of the other stuff, we've heard it all year. I, I've, you know, I, I haven't talked much about it, but who cares, right? I mean, we've, we've heard it since September. Um, we've heard it, you know, the, Everybody waited throughout the regular season as we went to different points in the regular season for our group to go away, to, to fall off. And <clears throat> I just said, you know, a couple of times at, at key junctures in the season, I just said, you know, we, we may or may not, you know, make it in terms of being a playoff team, um, but we're not going to go away. I mean, we, you know, we, we have substance. Um, you know, we our team has played very similarly throughout the year in terms of how cohesive they are, how, uh, you know, um, how hard they work. Um, so, you know, when we became a playoff team, we earned it. And the same thing coming into this series, you know, if we would have, you know, talked honestly, you know, behind the scenes, we may or may not win this series, but we're going to play the way we play. And, you know, tonight it was good enough. So that's all the players. That's... Um, no, you know, that's those guys um, getting the job done and doing it together. Dave, you said you don't believe in momentum carrying from game to game necessarily, mm -hmm. but what does a win like this in this series against the defending Stanley Cup champions do for your squad moving into the second round? Well, it took a lot of energy out of us, that's for sure. <laughs> um, you, you know what? It gives them, it gives them their just reward, right? Um, so guys can feel good about that. It continues to, you know, to, to bolster, um, you know, the confidence of our group, even though, you know, I don't, I don't know that that ever has really wavered over the last few months. Um, and, you know, like I said, it, you know, it, uh, it gives them, you know, that, that check mark of, of success in, you know, in the first playoff series that, you know, our franchise has played in. And I know that, I don't know if the guys will speak to it or not, but I know the guys, especially the guys that were here last year, will take great pride in that. Um, they take pride in, in you know, in in the building blocks that they're putting in place in terms of the franchise and and in terms of hockey in Seattle. Uh, but more importantly, it just comes down to winning a series, right? At the end of the day, today was about winning a, a playoff series. Um, and like I said, I thought Colorado was great tonight. Like they, you know, um, they pushed us in in every way you can imagine. And like I said, our goaltender was the best player on the ice, and, and the rest of the guys in front battled as hard as they could. Uh, Dave, the Yanni Gord line had a very tough task this whole this whole yeah. series. They were especially relentless on the forecheck, I thought tonight. Yeah. What did you see from from those three, and especially I mean Bjorkstrand coming through? Obviously, you know, in my goals. yeah, in my opinion, the biggest thing is the, um, they never went away. Right. If you look at the last four games and the matchups that they had, um, they had success early on. Um, you know, a couple games where things, you know, didn't, you know, probably at the end of the game, you add it up and didn't go their way. Um, but confidence never wavered. Compete level never wavered. Uh, their willingness to go back and, and play in that role never changed. And, you know, tonight they, they did a hell of a job. Um, you know, it's, you know, Ollie, 
all he could I don't know he could have had five tonight right but that group collectively um, like you said drew a lot of real tough minutes against great players um, and best thing I can say is they did the job that's the best compliment I can pay them in a you know in a in a in a tough matchup Tim and Brady in the video room for series MVPs yeah you know they had that you know I, I don't know you don't know the inner workings, I guess, but they had it immediately as it as it came in the zone. Um, so that's that's obviously a key point. You know that like it or or not like the rule, the rule is there. And in that case, those guys, you know, they they did it a couple of times this series, right? Um, so that was obviously that's a huge point, momentum wise, uh, in the game. You know, with that goal being disallowed early in the third period. Sorry, how, how sh can I ask one more? Yeah, <laughs> how, how certain were you? I mean, um, in that moment, like, if, if it goes the other way, obviously it's a penalty against. So, like, how, how certain are you that that call is going to go your way? Uh, no, they, they, they had no doubt on it. And, you know, as you look, I mean, there's always a little bit of doubt. But in this case, I mean, it was, you know, I, I looked at it after the game. Um, I got to see a little bit on the bench, but it's hard to see on the monitors, to be honest with you. But uh, they, they nailed it. It's, it's, that is not an easy task. And they had it immediately. Um, like I said, before the puck went uh, went in the net, they already had it and, and had uh, communicated down to the bench. Hey, we touched on this this morning, but uh, this is your first NHL playoff series win in four in five attempts. Uh, what did it feel like being on the other side of the handshake line for the first time? Yeah, it's uh, uh, winning is more fun than losing, right? <laughs> Let's just be honest. Um, it's uh, we get a chance to move on and go to Dallas, right? And that's the biggest thing. You come into the series with with a single goal in mind, and you know what? I'm I'm happy for our players. That's really what, at the end of the day, I'm thrilled for the organization and, and for our players. Um, and I said it, uh, I, you know, I can't remember which game it was after. You know, I was asked, you know, can you enjoy it a little bit? Absolutely. I want our guys to enjoy this. You know, and they should. Um, we know it's going to be a quick turnaround, but we'll get to that tomorrow. So, you know, enjoy enjoy the the work that they put in, enjoy the success. Um, you know, we'll we'll regroup and we'll get our foot back on the gas tomorrow, and that's just the way our group operates. So it's uh, um, that's that's where my thinking is at. That's my emotions. I, I mean, it's it's awesome. Hey, Dave, Jared Bednar credited you guys with being consistent all seven games. You made a decision when Jared went out put Ty on the line and leave the other three lines basically intact. Yeah. Was that a conscious thing to keep that consistency? Yeah, well, I mean, the first thing that to, to allow that to happen is we have to, we have to feel that Ty can do the job, right? So that's a real credit to Ty and, and what he has done over the year and the, you know, the confidence that he instilled in the entire organization to step into that spot. We thought, you never know how it's going to go. I mean, it's the first game of, the, you know, of, of his NHL career, jumping into the middle of the series. Um, but we felt like it had a, you know, he had a really good opportunity to succeed. And if you talk to his two line mates, I bet you they'd give you a great feedback. Like, they have confidence in him. You know, and it's not, he scored, you know, kind of storybook, right? He scored his first, you know, his first NHL goal, night number one. But it's the other things that at this time of year become so valuable. And, you know, in those little areas, he's got, he's got a great, uh, great mindset, really good hockey sense, and he's, he's good in those little areas, the hard areas of the game. So that really, you know, that allowed us, like you say, to keep everything else fairly stable. Um, and that's, that's a huge credit to him as a young, you know, as a young guy coming in the league. Dave, speaking of that, uh, what's your uh, understanding of where Jared's status is right now and his outlook for moving forward for you at this point? Yeah, no change in his status. Um, obviously, he's not on the trip with us, um, so I don't really have a further update other than, other than that. And uh, for you guys, depth scoring has been such a key thing for you all yeah. season long. Oliver is the 15th different guy to score for you in the series tonight. To, to have yeah. it come through like that, throughout this series to get you guys across the finish line and moving on. What does that, does that mean for you guys? Yeah, you got to stay true to who you are, right? If you start, if you start trying to make it up or change, um, you know, the, the, the blueprint, you're probably not going to find success, especially as you go under the, the type of stress that our players, you know, were under tonight in game seven, right? So um, that's, that's been our formula, you know, throughout the year. That's uh, that's been the expectation of the players within the room is that somebody different each night is going to have to chip in and going to have to step up and it probably will be a different guy. 
Um, you know, and, and to their credit, they stayed true to it through, you know, the ups and downs of this series. They stayed true to it tonight, even through the ups and downs, obviously, of this hockey game. All right. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Thanks Dave. Okay. Thank you.